Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get started with the new STM32 Cube IDE. We want to start a new STM32 project. So here's where you can select your MCU MPU. Um, we're going to go over to the board selector and we're going to type in the part number for our development board. It's a Nucleo development board for the L476RG. And our board is here. We can select that and we can proceed. We just need a new name for our project. It's going to switch into the um, Cuba Max perspective. This is a custom perspective that ST has built into the IDE. Um, normally with a vanilla Eclipse IDE, you have your development perspective and your debug perspective. So this is just a third perspective that uh, ST has added so that you can view the um, configuration um, tool a lot better. It basically just selects one pane and then full screens that pane. This is where you can see the pinout of the chip. Um, if you want to, you can set up another um, uh, peripheral bus. We can set up an SPI bus, for example. Um, you can configure it here. For our purpose, we're not going to use it. We're just going to set up some blinky code. But we can file, save, and it'll prompt us to generate the code. This will generate all of your initialization code to set up all these peripherals. And that'll be in your main.c file. Okay, so once that code is generated, we don't need this pane anymore. It'll automatically switch into our development perspective. We can open up our source code, open up our main.c file. So we have our main function here, and we have a while loop where we can insert some code. I've got some blinky code ready to go, so we're just going to copy that code and insert it into the while loop and do a build. So that build was successful. Now we're going to launch a debug session. So we can hit the drop down here. We need to load our debug configuration because it's the first time in the project. We're going to select the STM32 MCU debugging. It's going to want to find out where our application is. We can select our ELF file here and we can click debug. It's going to prompt us to switch to the debug perspective. And it halts on uh, the first line of code in our main function. We can um, proceed, step through the code, and the code is now running and we are blinking.